Okay, y'all, are you ready to hear my word of the year? I can't wait to talk you through it. It's not a pretty word, and I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna take you through all my past words of the year when I've done power sheets, and yeah, let's go. Okay, y'all, so this year, I'm reusing a word that I used in 2018, and I've wanted to reuse it over and over, and consistently, when I would do my prep work with my people, I would say, like, I would use the word, and they'd be like, Ashley, just use it again. And I would say, no, I can't use it again, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, I'm using it again. Okay, so, y'all, my word is mundane. It's not one of these beautiful bloom, flourish, achieve, uh, I don't know. It's not one of these normal words that people choose for their word of the year. But what I found was that year I was the most consistent in doing all the things that I wanted to do because I kept remembering that in the mundane little things that you do, over and over and over, progress is seen. The definition of mundane is very ordinary and therefore not interested. Well, when I talk about creating consistent content, it's not interesting for me. It's very ordinary. It is very rote. It's very mundane. Coming up with topics to talk about, not that I don't love talking about them, but in any job that you have, I feel like there are always mundane tasks that you have to do. Like I have to do social media posts. I have to do Pinterest pins. I have to do an email. I have to do these little things that actually add up to uh, bigger things and what I want to achieve by doing those small mundane tasks. A couple weeks ago, um, I've never met her in person. We live in the same town, Tanya Dalton. She is the founder of Inkwell Press and she runs this amazing productivity podcast. She writes my absolute favorite book, The Joy of Missing Out. And then she wrote one this past year called On Purpose and it is phenomenal. But she is talking about how she's taking a stand and she's going off of social media for personal reasons and I and her business like I've had to listen to the podcast twice because I'm still like kind of shocked um and that's amazing and I think there is so much freedom in that uh but for me in my business this is what um in my stage I have to do those things and maybe I don't have to I think she would probably say like Ash you you don't have to do if there's something you don't want to do you don't have to do it but I actually enjoy being on social media and I hope I'm this little, tiny, dull, brightish light of she makes it look easy. I can do that. Let me give it a go. So if it doesn't look like that, somebody tell me in the comments below. <laughs> but I hope it does. <laughs> so with those mundane everyday posts that I have to schedule, sometimes it's me on a Sunday night at 8.30 p.m. quickly coming up with content. And it's not very good, but it happens. And it's that little mundane task that I check off that actually in the long run works out for me. Because when I share a recipe about, you know, like some easy recipe that you can make this evening on Instagram, I can't tell you how many people will send me a message and say, hey, thanks for that. I needed an idea for dinner day. I didn't know what we were gonna do. Or we make this all the time. Thanks for sharing this. And those little uh, hits of appreciation from my audience is oh, so rewarding. It's so amazing. So that's why this year my word is mundane. So I'm gonna take you through all the ones, all my words of the year from 2016 to this year. And uh, yeah. So I thought I would take you through my previous words of the year. I didn't save my notebooks. I've been doing power sheets since 20, 
2013 or 2012, I can't remember, and they used to come in notebooks. You would just get um, three ring punched papers. So I should take you through like the history of this prep work. I forgot about this one and I, I loved this prep work. This is 2016. My word was patience. 2017, my word was purpose. And you can tell like I do a ton of work leading up to it. Um, 2018, this is when I chose this mundane word. And since then, I've gone back to it over and over in that this year I wanted to choose it, but I chose live well last year or no, 2020, I chose consistency, which is basically the same thing as mundane. Same with last year is focus. It's the same thing as consistency and mundane. Um, yeah, so those are my words of the year for the past several years. Okay, so did any of those words of the year resonate with you? If they did, comment below and let me know. I would love to know what your word of the year is if you figure it out. If you want to know how I find my word of the year, we're going to talk about it right now. Okay, so in... I gotta close it. Your Cultivate What Matters Power Sheets prep work you do a lot of writing and I figured this out years ago that I would start basically with a blank slate, come into my prep work and really give it time. Like I take a day or two to do it and then I'll spend a week going back and forth and flipping back and forth to it. Like I'm still not settled on this year's prep work. I have my uh, two people from my Power Sheets tribe coming on Tuesday to, we're going to get together and talk about it. And I know for sure when they come and we start talking about this out loud that things are going to shift or I'm going to add things or um, I might tuck something away for later in the year or whatever. But the great thing about this goal planner is every quarter you do um, a refresh. And so each season changes, of course, for you, for your life. And those refreshes are a way for you to look at your goals that you set at the beginning of the year and say, is this working? Is it not working? What do I need to change? What can stay the same? And what can I you know, move over to next quarter or even to the following year? Um, when I went through to look at my words of the year, I looked at my goals and about six of them are still the same because most of them are these habitual mundane tasks that I need to do in order to work up to these big, grand dreams, goals, whatever you want to call them that I want to do in my life. It's not going to take a year. It's going to take multiple years. And so that's why it's helpful to have this accountability partner in a notebook, basically, in a workbook, but it's also helpful to have a real person in your life that you can find to say like, hey, these are the things I want to work on this year. Will you help me work through these? We can, you know, meet once a month. Um, you don't have to meet every week or every day or anything like that. We used to meet months, once a month in person. Um, and then of course COVID hit and that kind of changed, which then you get out of the habit of doing it. So Hopefully this year we'll change that and get back into a regular groove. So as I'm writing in my prep work, I'm trying to find a page that I have like a lot of written words. Um, I, so like here's a bunch of words. Do y'all do that stuff? Gross. I can't believe I still lick my fingers sometimes. So nasty. Anyways, so I go through and I see like what I've written and if there's a word or two or three that I've written over and over and over again. And usually there's a few that stand out and now that I've um, figured out this process each year, it, it comes to me much quicker because I'm like, okay, I'm gonna use the word consistent over and over. And I did use the word consistent, consistency um, a bunch of times but I knew I wanted to use the word mundane, which basically means, you know, if you're consistently working through the mundane tasks, you're good to go. That's what I want to achieve. So I knew that I wanted to um, use that word and I even wrote it in my, they have a little letter that you write to yourself. And in this one sentence, it says, my legacy starts today in the big picture. What will matter is the little mundane moments that are filled with purpose. 
So um, I knew that I wanted to use that word, but I definitely in the years past, like I will go through and highlight, I'll choose a color and highlight one word and find it each time. And then I'll find another word that I've written several times and highlight it in a different color. And then I like to go to the dictionary and look up the definitions and do a little research on those words. Um, and so then uh, I'll even show you in the year that I chose the word mundane, I wrote down four different words, which were routine, consistency, lean in and mundane. And I wrote the definitions for all of those. And I kind of really thought about it and thought, you know what, I really, everyone wants to use these like beautiful words that they put on their phone screens and their computer backgrounds and up on there. Um, I'll show you. Let's see if I can do this. Up. Oh no, I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> this is why I need better video equipment. I could turn it myself, but it, it, it'll fall over, whatever. I have a bulletin board right here. You'll see at the end where I'm hanging up my word of the year mundane. And I put it right beside me so I can see it all the time. I'm going to write it in my moleskin that I'm going to restart for 2022. I'm using the same one that I used this past year because I didn't use it as often as I thought I would. Usually I get a new one. That's a whole other video. I'm going to put it in my content planner, in my regular agenda. It's going to be everywhere so that I consistently remind myself to show up for those mundane tasks that I need to do. So, yeah. Do you have any questions about finding your word of the year? Cultivate What Matters has a great list that you can go through. You can click through and read their definitions. You can even download them. And they have um, uh, phone backgrounds and desktop backgrounds and word of the year cards that you can print. They come with word of the year cards this year. They didn't last year. <laughs> I messed up on this one, so this one's getting chucked. Lovely done is better than perfect. <laughs> so, yep. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching this video. And I can't wait to hear what your word of the year is.